She used to be a waitress in a glamorous casino until one day she stumbled upon a mysterious dark book. Learning its secrets quickly, she would use it to grant herself great fortune, only she might have risked too much to obtain it. She came to realize that she had lost a bet she should have never placed, and it was then when Winsome knew that even she could lose some. Welcome everybody to Sumi's Winsome the Gambler here, who's a character with a whole heck of a lot of potential, and quite frankly, it is the only reason that we're even rolling the dice on her today. So let me explain. Well, while also showcasing the actual character mod itself, otherwise we just let the house win. And I don't want that. Not for Winsome at least. Thing is, however, betting against the odds in-game won't be as easy. Winsome will be playing things close to the chest immediately, with her well below average stats as all three will rest at a mere 105 in total, folks. Yeah, not great. Play things even riskier, though, by sitting below 20 health in total, and Winsome will start to benefit from a small yet sneaky sanity regeneration effect of about 1 sanity point every 11 seconds. And that's not too shabby, honestly, but it's risky indeed. Ah, but her time as a waitress outside of this new hell of hers is going to make all this stat nonsense way, way more interesting with the help of a roulette slice or two. Costing 10 gold nuggets, 2 eggs, and 1 nightmare fuel to create, each much of a roulette slice will change every single one of her maximum stats by a value of 50 to 200. And yes, we can eat as many as our hearts desire in hopes of coming away with a solid set of stats across the board, of course. It is a fun, neat, and highly appropriate mechanic that only suffers from one thing. Once you actually get a solid set of stats, there's really no reason for the slices anymore. Make these stat changes temporary or something along them lines, and then we'll be talking. And that right there is honestly winsome in a nutshell. A very well thought out and designed character that simply doesn't go as deep as she needs to in order to truly shine. Take, for example, her perk that leads to randomly getting gold to drop from whatever she hits in combat. She initially has a 3% chance to benefit from this mechanic, but as her inventory fills with things called golden tickets, said chance climbs rapidly to a point where combat literally becomes a gold farm for Pete's sake. It's unique for sure, and it definitely plays into her being a risk taker overall, as the moment she is hit, all them golden tickets disappear instantly, as you can see. It's risk versus reward, a system as old as time. The problem, though, is that that's it. All it leads to is gold nuggets. Perhaps different tickets could increase speed or damage at the same risk. Maybe we should have to, quote-unquote, sacrifice one stat to benefit the others. You know, something like that. Because for now, I'm not too thrilled with the idea, knowing that most of the gold we're getting is simply going into most of our own crafts, some of which don't actually work currently, or simply lead to more flipping gold. Again, the potential is certainly there. So let's just help folks see it, and hopefully play with it. But speaking of potential tweaks to things, Winsome has a nice list of configuration options herself, even as things stand now. So I would highly advise that you give them a look. From adjusting her flat out stats, to changing how said stats will interact with one another, or a slice of cake, you don't actually have to play the hand you're dealt, if you know what I mean. Have fun. But sadly, at least for now, mind you, we do have to do exactly that with some of Winsome's aperitifs. Using parts of her literal body and mind, Winsome knows how to pour three of these different things, all corresponding to her three different stats, as you can imagine. Now these things are supposed to either double their corresponding stats for a short time, or do literally nothing within a 50-50 chance per slurp sort of thing. But unfortunately, not a single one of them works. Again, great thought process here, and we're on the right track. So keep it up. Winsome has also had enough of people being absolutely incapable of ordering off menus somehow, so she herself has taken to reading. Reading some magical page turners, that is. At least when they work. As yes, unfortunately, this perk of hers is also dumb broken. So I'm not too sure what the extent of it is, was she able to actually call down rats with wings or lightning, or was she really just gaining some sanity per read sort of thing. 
I don't know, but perhaps we'll find out one day. But to wrap up our day here are the usual high rollers, of course. Winsome's ghost and her voice. So let's go for the floor. And there you have it, everyone. Winsome the Gambler by Sumi and Company. Not the most comprehensive character ever shown on the channel, but she is most definitely not a testament to Sumi's overall work. So please do not confuse my want to see her reach her potential for downright bashfulness on my part. Winsome's just too basic for what she clearly demands, and that's that. When or if Sumi feels or hears the same, perhaps she will get herself a rework, and trust me, I will be right there to see it. I like the foundation that she has already. Go a little bit more in depth, and we've got some here. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Please give her one more spin, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.